I feel like Dyke is one good innovation that Zoe made. Um, like the, they disabled the, the blurriness of the game that you feel like in every uh, first-person shooter. I don't know how to say, but much more comfortable, comfortable to play. Like uh, you, when you move quickly, uh, when you move click quickly. Um, you still can see all those platforms. It kind of feels like it's easier to track the targets. When I'm spraying, I can more clearly see like the movements that the targets are doing. Uh, so it just feels like kind of smoother to uh, adapt to like movement. If they're moving, it, I kind of like immediately react. Uh, I could really see the difference uh, in this, the stability of the image. So when I was moving around the map and spraying the. Uh, the image was moving a lot less and it uh, really made it quite a lot easier to play the game and uh, I could see uh, the bullets like uh, flying through the air and where they were landing uh, a lot more clear. When I flick other people it's more accurate than uh, without. It even helps me to perform when I spray. Uh, I can see the spread uh, even easier than I do without and when I do hard turns the screen is more floating. Somehow it actually helps you with, with increasing uh, your ability to aim in the game because, as I already said, it, it makes everything feel a lot smoother. And, and because of that, uh, it ac it's, it's actually easier to, to, to hit the enemies uh, while I'm playing, w which is great. Especially for games like Overwatch, which I'm currently playing, or or games like Counter Strike, or I think even games like fast-paced games like Dota, where you have like team fights where a lot of stuff happens, it will actually help you with keeping the overview of the game and uh, controlling controlling your mouse and your, accru your accuracy better. So, if I had to decide like what what feature uh, is actually the best on this monitor, I would say it's the direct feature because it impresses your gameplay by a lot.